Eight. Actually bought this game on launch uh, back about 15 or so years ago. So that gives you some idea. Of course, I actually made it to the end boss. Don't know why I stuck with the game as long as I did, but there you go. I guess I, could, I guess it's fair to say I liked it more than Final Fantasy VII, which I'll probably end up playing someday. I don't know. I found I got a real good deal on this game. Only the discs, no um, no boxes or anything. So fair warning. We're just starting out here. Let me show you where I am. This is we're outside the main city. Uh, I should whoops. Shouldn't move too far. So we just started out. We left the prologue crap, which takes up the first 15 or 20 minutes of the game. It's not as bad as Persona 4, or Persona 5, I should mention. Here in the open world, this ugly but open world we got going on here. I'm using the L1 and R1 button to rotate the camera at a mediocre 20 frames a second. I use the D-pad to move up, down, left, and right. But where I need to go is east of here. There's a fire cavern to the east of us. Can you see it from here? Okay, we're facing east. That's east. We're headed to the fire cavern over there. Press the select button to switch between this flat map, this Mercator projection, I suppose. It's an archipelago. You have this globe, and you have a mini Mercator projection down there. We're going to stick with the globe for now, because we want to go east. So let's do this thing. A few things I should mention. So we just I've already played this game for three hours, but I'm reviewing what I've already done to kind of get back in the swing of things. Questus has already explained the basics of this junction system we have going on here. Junction. GF. These are, these are all the things I need to know to get started with this game. So I'm going to put... Let me get Chalin. Sorry. Cloud. Not, his name is not Cloud. And technically his name isn't... Anyway, I forgot his... I changed his name already. I call him Chica, I call him T'Challa. As you know, why not? <laughs> uh, let's junction Quetzalcoatl to him. Speaking of appropriating. So we got Quetzalcoatl on this guy. Let's go back. He has no abilities, so we'll worry about that. Actually, not some abilities. He has to assign some abilities to him. Okay, I got magic. Actually, not magic. Let's do draw. Magic and GF, in case I want to summon my guardian. No abilities yet. Press R1 and L1 to switch between characters. I only have two people in my party right now. That's Junction Frosta. Her name is Shiva. I renamed her Frosta. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Magic. No magic yet. Abilities. Let's see. Draw. Magic. GF summon. No abilities yet, we'll get to that. No magic yet, we'll get to that. In fact, uh, as soon as we get into our first fight, we'll be able to draw some magic from the enemy here, so you'll see what you need to do there. Again, there's a lot more to it than this. I will explain it later, because for now, at the beginning of the game, the only thing we need to know is how to draw. So we'll get to that in just a moment. Actually, let's, stick out, let's stay out here in the open, in the, here in the grasslands, then we'll make our way to the forest. So you can see some of the enemies that appear here. The enemies here aren't so bad, but I think there are only two. I think there are only two kinds of enemy mobs that appear at this point of the game. Okay, there's Questus on the right. She's the whip wielder. T'Challa, of course, is my main character on the left. I have a limit break, which is basically real time. We're not going to worry about that. Actually, we'll, we'll kill one enemy first. Press R1 as soon as we strike the enemy for a super attack. It's supposed to be some kind of limit break. Whatever, we'll get to that. Let me kill that first enemy. That one's not dead yet. Come on. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time killing these guys. Okay, let's draw. Now let's see what the first... We're going to stop... We're going to draw a magic spell and then put it in our stock. I'm going to draw from the bottom. So Questus got fire magic. And T'Challa got scans. So watch this. Uh, Questus is going to draw fire and put it in her stock. Child is going to draw a scan and put it in his stock. We are going to spend a bunch of time doing this. I just want to show you the basics of drawing. Now, eventually, you can draw up to 99 magic spells, which seems to be what's going on here. So you don't use you don't use mana really in this game. You draw mana. Or you draw magic spells from enemies, and then you cast them as if they were potions, basically. So 
Let's do some more scans. I'm just gonna draw scans, because the enemies inside the fire cavern that we're headed to are just a bunch of fire wielders, so we'll draw a fire there, so to speak. But we're not gonna spend a bunch of time doing it, I just want to show you the basics of drawing. Now why am I drawing scans? Because why not? <laughs> we're here, let's just draw. Okay, so as soon as I start attacking, I'm gonna show you the basics. Quest is gonna attack. With her whip. Now with this guy, I'm gonna press R1. See? That explosion means I made contact with the limit break, so that means my attack is a little bit stronger than it normally is. That's his normal attack, by the way. So you can see my super attack was actually stronger than my normal attack. There's supposed to be an indicator, I thought. Let me, let me go to the menu, see if I can turn on that indicator. I haven't bothered to do that yet. So you can see how much experience we got. We'll go up, we'll go up another level pretty quickly, so that won't be an issue. So you got to see me draw some magic from some enemies that are here. I'm going to go into the forest and draw magic from a couple of enemies in here. In fact, what I really want to show you is the cure, so to speak. You know, like the English band from the early 80s, early 90s. <laughs> okay, where are we at? Okay, here we go. We're going to want this. We're back attacked, huh? This is all random, by the way. So let's uh, attack the flies. There we go. The frame rate is so bad that it makes some of the timing on these attacks kind of annoying, so fair warning. Attack that guy. Come on. Okay, he's down. So let's attack the other fly, then we can start uh, drawing um, cure magic on this caterpillar. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Attack. I want him. This, this camera angle is really annoying because it makes it kind of hard to determine where the enemies are. And sometimes you can't even see when you're, uh, when, um, T'Challa there is going to make contact with an enemy and get a super strike because the camera angle makes it hard to see how close he is to the enemy. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Let's draw, stock, draw, from the bottom. So we have thunders in here, and there are also some cure spells right here. So we can, dra so we can draw cure spells from this guy. So let's just do that over and over again. Draw, cure, stock. So we're going to spend a couple of turns drawing cure spells from this guy, because, I, again, we can get up to 99, but we're not going to do that all in this video. So you can spend a bunch of time doing this. It's probably a good idea if you do, because you might want these cure spells as soon as we get to the boss inside the fire cavern. So you might spend, like, two or three minutes just doing this. Okay, I'm going to show you, as soon as we draw these cure spells here, I'm going to cast a cure spell instead of just drawing it, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to draw cure, but I'm not going to put it in stock. I'm going to cast it. So I'm going to cast a cure spell by drawing it from this caterpillar. I'm going to cast it on myself. Same with Questish. She's going to draw a cure spell and cast it on herself. Again, the visual, the visual layout of these menus isn't great because... It'd be n because the, what happens is the cursor doesn't appear on the menu over the character's name. It appears on the screen on the play field. So again, it's based on where they are on the screen. So based on the camera angle, it's kind of annoying. Cure, cast, T'Challa. Now cast, get a few more cures here. Whoops. I'm pressing the circle button to cancel my uh, command. Stock. We can start killing this guy pretty soon. I just wanted to grab a few cure spells and be fine. Draw. Stock. Cure, stock, okay. So now we can start attacking him on the next turn. Yeah, I'm just going over the basics because I'm trying to get back up to speed. Even though I've already done all this before. So we'll attack him, then quest us, we'll draw more cure spells out of him. Spoiler alert, I'm not going to spend a bunch of time building up Questus. Not because she gets killed like Aerith, but uh, but because she, but because uh, just a second, wrong character. But because uh, T'Challa is going to be the main character throughout the game, so I'm going to want to spend all my time building him up. I'm more worried about building him up than Questus, because Questus might disappear for a while, as I recall. Right. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. So he'll super attack. He's not dead yet. He's gonna make us mad, so. 
Because now that he's mad, oh, we aren't mad yet, okay. Because that, those ultra waves make us mad, so we might go into berserker mode and just start attacking at random. Pure cast on Questus. Draw, no. Let's attack him with the heck. So I like being able to draw magic spells out of enemies. You can just cast them right away, <laughs> which is always cute. So you don't have to waste any of your stock. Because remember, magic is stocked now. So instead of casting it from my stock, I just draw it and cast it once I draw it. So that's kind of cute. Lots of heavy magic in this game, as I recall. Of course, a bit later as we go along, you'll start to see how abusable the system is. All right, so we've done that. So now we're gonna head to the fire cavern. This will be a quick video, don't worry. We'll spend we'll spend a lot more time on a video on the mechanics of combat later, because it gets kind of complicated a bit later. But early on in the game, all you really have to do is just draw magic spells and just attack people. Here we go. Junctioning magic is being explained. By junctioning magic, you can raise the character statistics. If the guardian has learned the ability. If you junction onto stats, that particular stat will be displayed in white, not grayed out like you see here on the bottom of the screen. So right now, strength and spirit, is that what that means? Uh, they are in white. STR and SPR. GF and magic commands will appear. You're able to junction magic by selecting magic. Magic is selected. A list of magic appears. We aren't going to spend a bunch of time doing this right away because the game's going to explain how the auto junctioning system works, which is great. Saves me, saves me a bunch of fiddling around with the menus. Very minor min-maxing. No one magic can be assigned to each stat. However, there was no need to junction magic manually one by one. After uh, selecting, after select auto after junctioning. You can automatically that's junction magic based on attack strength, magic strength, or defense. You can favor one or the other like this. Defense favors raging HP. Thus, magic can be junctioned easily by using auto. I usually junction defense because I want more HP, which makes perfect sense. See, in this case, the magic magic has been junctioned to favor strength. We'll fix that later. And I've all, and there isn't much. I think you can draw four magic, five magic spells here at this point in the game. Uh, was it fire, thunder, blizzard, scan, and cure? You saw me. You saw me draw both of those. We can't. We can't draw Blizzard until we get inside the fire cavern. I'll show you the enemy that does it. I already know how to use the gun blade. Bet I can just go to the tutorial and have it explained all over again. Uh, for instance, here in the tutorial, online help, not there. Battle operation. Well, that's not it. But anyway, we'll explain that later. Okay, so let's go inside the cave. We'll do some fighting, then we'll explain. We'll end up explain the more complex things. Whoops! Wait, yeah, the indicator. The indicator. The indicator. Okay. Uh, let's see. Config. I already changed most of this. Controller is fine. We'll customize so you can see what the walk and talk. It's really all you need to do on the field map. Uh, you're supposed to be able to rotate it, <coughs> as I already mentioned with the L and R buttons. L1 and R1. Check on that. Battle controls. <laughs> Circles to change character. Triangles to cancel. Okay. <laughs> Square circuit status. R wench for the trigger on my gun blade. That's on T'Challa's gun blade. Uh, let's see. Change select window. Escape. Yeah, you have to hold down L2 and R2 to escape. <laughs> Old school. Uh, by the way, in that place in the open world, there's a dinosaur roaming around the forest, so the game wants you to just run away. You'll, you'll probably end up seeing it later. Because we turned on... This, the game's going to go as fast as it needs to. ATB is set to wait, because I don't want the game to keep moving while I'm rummaging through the menus. So this is basically a turn-based system. Menu turn-based, but whatever. Because the ATB system's always been kind of stupid. Real-time real menu management. Like in that uh, bite, like in that Bait and Kaitos game on the, ga on the GameCube. That was really freaking annoying. Because basically you're reading over your cards while enemies are attacking you. I mean, come on. Thought that was a good idea. <laughs> oh yeah, these it's a PS1 game, obviously, so it's all these 
pre-rendered static backgrounds. Or sometimes animated backgrounds. So, you know, no free, no open world exploring, you know what I mean? This isn't Lightning Returns. <laughs> yeah, we're done. You can grind if you want, but we don't need to grind anymore. We can just go in. Actually, no. What happens is we have to choose a time. Yeah, see? I did 20 minutes last time and I was fine, but I needed 14 minutes to clear the cavern and beat the boss. We'll set for 20 minutes this time, but I'm not going to have a lot of time to explain crap, so keep that in mind. In fact, I'm not going to draw too much. I'm going to draw a couple of blizzards if I get to an enemy that has it. Otherwise, I'm just going to run away. I'm not going to get into fights at this point. But I have plenty of cure spells, so that's good. This music's very good. I'll see if I can splice it in later. Fine. And remember, this timer's gonna run even if you're, you know, during a loading screen. It's gonna run during the menu, too. Watch. The boys often choke on this test when I come with them. I guess my charm makes them nervous. Yeah. The quest is cool and all, but that, that whole whip-wielding teacher bit is kind of, a, kind of a joke. See, the time's on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, so as you can see, time never stops here on the menu screen. So don't get cocky. 1915. I remember at 1915, we're going to spend a few seconds here to see what happens, 1915. Yep, time keeps moving. So don't spend a bunch of time on the menu, that's what you need to know. And don't spend a bunch of time drawing magic out of enemies until we can find the one enemy I'm looking for. The... As you can see so far, the encounter rate's kind of high. In fact, when we leave the cave, you'll see how really bad it is. Okay, I'm not going to draw magic out of it, I'm going to leave. Here, we're going to bail. These guys have fire, but we're not going to fight these guys right now. But when, I'm, gonna, I'm waiting for an enemy that has Blizzard. I'm going to draw a bunch of Blizzard out of this guy. This place is linear, so you can't get lost. There's a draw point over there with fire in it. We aren't going to worry about that just yet. Okay, so there's an enemy right here at the end of the map. You think this is bad? You should try playing Legend of Dragoon. <laughs> Ugh, I hate these guys. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. Yeah, quest is like, yeah, use an ice attack. We don't have any ice attacks. So those bombs are elemental monsters with fire, but we can't use ice attacks, obviously. We don't have any. We'll get one from an enemy over here. See another enemy again. Wow, that's pretty bad. Yes, okay, here, this is the guy. This is the guy who has the blizzard. So we'll spend some time getting some blizzard off this guy. Draw. Yeah, at the bottom right there is Blizzard. So we'll grab some. So we'll spend a couple more minutes of grabbing some Blizzard from this dude. So I guess if I set the time limit to 10, that might have been my excuse to like, you know, um, make, a, make a run for the boss. It's like a speed run challenge, I guess. But when I beat the bot, when I beat my 20 minute mark, I didn't get anything special for it. I guess it's just a fail state. Because I already, already beat this boss already, like I said, in 14 minutes. I got through this cavern to beat the boss in 14 minutes. That was using a less than optimal strategy, but uh, it is what it is. Okay. We'll draw some more blizzards. I'm not gonna do too much. In fact, Quest Questus doesn't Questus Questus doesn't need Blizzard because frankly she has uh, Frosta, the um, the Ice Gia. Although I think using Frosta makes the boss mad, so it's probably not gonna be. Opt I probably shouldn't use that. We'll see how it goes. Let's get to the fight. Go okay, draw a few more, then leave. Okay, so we're bailing. Can you get it? Okay, now we're gonna bail. We're running away. Okay, so we're done. So now we're ready to fight the boss. We got plenty of blizzards, and I'll show you how much in a second. Actually, we'll wait till we get to actually the actual fight. We probably got about 15 apiece, so that's more than enough. Let okay, me get some magic out. Magic, Quistus, everyone has magic. 
Cure. So Quistus has more, so we'll use Cure Cure. See? Just like potions. And let me uh, get my junction set up. Junction. Uh, whoops. Auto to defense. See? So his magic went up. In fact, check that out. We're going to switch to attack. Switch to magic. Switch to defense. Okay, they're all the same. Auto, defense. So her cure to her spirit ranking when I'm 12. Like I said, I don't have much, I don't have much time to talk about this. I'm going to get to the boss and explain all this nonsense once the timer stops. So we'll be fine once we get past this boss. There he is over there at the end. This is an Ifrit, right? I renamed him. I just know it's an Ifrit. So we got to bring down the Ifrit. Let's just say that I am. Yeah, most boys choke during this part of the game, right? Yeah, don't be so charming, Quistus. This isn't too bad. Can't get lost. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can beat this guy in four minutes. Magic, Blizzard. There we go. Magic, Blizzard. These take a while, obviously. 68 blocks. Okay, so we'll have to bring out uh, Quistus's guardian in a second. The Southern Guardian. Frosta. Sorry. Um, Shiva. Yeah, Shiva. We re renamed her, of course. I'll do my regular attack next time. We'll see how strong it is. Uh, that blue bar says, okay, now now Frost has been summoned. That's what it took. It takes a while to summon. Now it is. And these cannot be skipped, just so you know. Pulling down the select button to get rid of the HUD. You know. PS1 level graphics, kids. This is the best we can do back then. <laughs> I mean, we, this was before Time and Eternity and all those other, like, cell shaded, all those other, you know, you know cell animated RPGs. Okay, and he's mad now. See? We're gonna do a regular attack, see how strong it is. That was, that was decent, whatever. See? Nah. Might as well just use the Blizzard stronger. Yes, not very strong. Blizzard's a little bit stronger. I can draw from this guy, right? I can draw cures from him, that's perfect. I had no idea. That makes things even easier. <laughs> oh well, we'll draw cures from him later, whatever. Let's just spam this. Actually, she can just spam her guardian force, right? It's like she's gonna run out of magic or anything. Oh, I beat him. No, he's not dead yet. Let's bring Frost back. Not bad for a human, huh? Here comes Frosta. Yeah, one more blizzard, then we'll summon Frosta. Summon the Ice Queen! Ah, not dead yet, huh? Yeah, this should take care of it. It's three times as strong as a regular attack, so I guess it's worth it's worth all the charge time. Because it takes twice as long to charge an attack, but it has three times the strength. So I guess it is worth it. For speedrunners, I suppose. Yeah, got it, got it. That should do it. Was it keeping track? Yeah. Nope, he's not done yet. Nah, okay, I'm gonna need to cure her. I need a cure, get a cure. Magic. Cure. Questus. Questus, sorry. You dead yet, son? We'll probably have to summon her guardian again. We'll get to that. I forgot to change the guardian while we started. We'll do, we'll do that in a second. No. Magic Blizzard. Guardian Force, okay. Should be the last. If you just do this all over again, it's, it's not a terribly complicated strategy here, it just goes on for a while. So as awesome as this music is, it kind of goes on for a while, because <laughs> there's not a lot of strategy here. It's just a bullet sponge. Okay, so I didn't need Frosta one more time. <laughs> Guess he got scurred. Okay, I'll go with you. So we beat him in less than 10 minutes. Barely. Of course, we wasted a bunch of time drawing, um... 
What is it? Drawing cure spells and blizzard spells. Well, I got the E for it. So my guardians gain 20 AP, whatever that means. We'll get to that later. So the clock has stopped. Okay, so I can rename this guy. I already renamed him in my other videos. So don't worry about it. I don't even know. What did I call him? I called him Pyron. <laughs> you know, after the Darkstalkers character. Uh, which makes perfect sense. Conform. You got yourself a GF, a girlfriend. If you junction that GF, you'll be able to use the Element J ability. Here's an explanation of elements. Junction contains basic parameters such as strength and magic, as well as elemental parameters. This is where things get a bit more complicated, but I'm not, I don't need it yet. I only need it against certain enemies. Actually, a GF with the elemental junction ability. This magic is junctioned. Elemental a attack defense slot above HP turns white, indicating elemental junction. This part I haven't understood yet. We'll get to that. Okay, so when the left button, when the left on the D-pad is selected, the elemental junction. So I gotta practice that. The junction looks like other junctions. Good thing there's a tutorial to re-explain all of this because I know I'm gonna forget it. I might not even need it till I get to a regular like an elemental boss like this guy. Elemental magic like the cure cannot be junctioned. And junction elemental attack. Links that element to a character's attack. The percent indicates how much of the attack's damage is linked to that element. At the maximum value of 100, the attack becomes entirely elemental. Which is good if an enemy is weak to that element, not so good if it absorbs that element. In this example, ice at 50%. This means the damage only increased by 50%. That's still, that's still a decent damage, as long as the enemy doesn't absorb ice damage. In junction to elemental defense, junction to the element is reduced. 100% the damage is reduced to zero. Not negative, but zero. For example, if I was reduced to 20 because I'm about to defense that, yeah, that's fine. Basic, you know, 1990s RPG nonsense. Maybe 1980s, even. Next speed junction, I'm not going to the GF's ability, yeah. Function more for magic types for the same elemental for cumulative effect like Faraga and Fyra. Which I think is Fire 2 and Fire 3. By junction different magic to check the effect. And also the auto select. I'm actually junction the most effective elemental magic. Okay. We'll see how that goes later. Oh, I well, I don't need this, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to save this. We'll see how it goes. Junction, T'Challa, auto, defense, junction, magic, Left on the D-pad. Well, I'm supposed to do auto. What sense does that make? Oh yeah, I gotta um, put E for it on my deal. So I got E for it and Quintal Quaddle. Yeah, a couple of other things I should mention. I don't have a Blizzard spell that I can junction to this, can I? Maybe I can. There we go. There it is. Blizzard. See? So I got a 14% boost to my attacks thanks to Blizzard. Activision Blizzard. So we'll get to that later. I probably need to worry about that. I thought Auto was supposed to do all this. Okay, so let's see how my uh, magic is. Junction, magic. It's already set to Thunder for some reason. Yeah, because it gets okay, so everything's already been assigned to the good stuff, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, GF, I'll show you this in a second. Check this out. Quetzalcoatl, this is, this is my default um, GF for uh, T'Challa. Select an ability to learn. Okay, it's currently learning summon magic, so I can switch this. Uh, let's do HP Junction. So he's going to learn that eventually. So I think, after, see right there where this was being built up? I think it had 26 action points earlier. Because remember, I'm getting action points after, I'm getting GFAP after every battle. And I got 20 when I defeated the uh, Ifrit boss. But now I'm going to start earning HPJ. 
so I can level this up. Injunction HP to this ability. Uh, let's try... Does he have that one? Okay. He's currently learning summon magic percent. You can uh, junction magic to HP, strength, elemental attack, defense. Some of these he's already learned, obviously. Like, he already knows how to use magic and GF and draw and all that, which is, which is, the, which is the generic default setting. You can make my strength stronger, boost the GF, refine fire magic from an item. We're not going to worry about that yet, so let's do JPs. Actually, he's, someone, he's already learning JPs. Let's just do strength, why not? And Frosta is currently mapped to Questus. So let's do her strength. She already has Sprite J. Sprite Junction. What, what is that? Spirit Junction. Sprite Junction. Okay, about Vitality. We'll do Vitality for her. All right, so you're starting to see how this works, huh? Now, plenty of cure, so let's, uh, I'll we'll tell you what, I'll poke around here and then, uh, restart my game so you'll get to see what's up. So I defeated the boss. That's all you really need to know. And I'll show you that, uh, draw point over there on the right. Right here. Fire found. Inside a fire cavern, you know. Uh, let's give it to T'Challa. He's my main, so he'll get all the main. He'll get all the draws I can afford. So here's our first enemy. Who are we fighting? If it's a bomb, I can fight one of these bombs. Okay, we can fight one bomb. This won't be so bad. Guess we have some cures, so let's draw. See, what we can draw out of this guy. All this guy has is fire. It's gonna be a waste of time. I guess we'll just kill him. We'll draw some fire from him and then kill him. Because that's all we can draw out of this dude. Ow. Okay, uh, da -da 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 attack. Uh, let's do a magic. Blizzard. Magic. Blizzard. We'll be fine with Blizzard. We'll do a regular attack after this. <laughs> wow. Not done yet. This should finish him off, though. Two blizzards should be more than enough. This guy's like 500 HP, right? Yeah, he's done. Big dumb red balloon. I should see that movie by now, right? This would be a classic silent film, I think. Okay. Should be one more. There should be a couple more enemy mobs in here. Because we've already faced the guy with the blizzard. We've already faced those bombs, so I guess we can face those bats, those fire bats. Then we can reset the game, because I don't need to save this. Yeah, this blizzard guy again. So we'll bail out of this guy. So if I want more blizzards, I can just come in here and stash them. Board them. Okay, we're out. Yeah. So I'll do some more combat outside of the cave, and then uh, fill some time explaining the uh, tutorials. Just to finish up the video, so we can move along that and be having to re-explain stuff. But early on in the game, you don't need to know about the complicated stuff. Just the basics of combat will be more than... The basics of drawing, the basics of combat is more than enough. Of course, auto-junctions, perfectly fine. Because like I said, I'm junctioning HP right now. Okay, forget this guy. We're out of here. And the timer got turned off, by the way, so we're fine. I guess later I can try to do the. I can try and go for the 10 minute uh, blaze. Just blaze through it 10 minutes, see what I can do. Okay, it's the last room. So, yeah, there's some animated backgrounds here. Crappy pre rendered animated backgrounds. Okay, so I'll kill those other guys and then go for the bats. Okay, uh, attack. No. Magic, no. GF. No. Attack. Uh. GF, Frosta. So she'll go after all of them. So it'll be worth it in that sense. I'm gonna need some cure spells pretty soon now that I think about it. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely need some cure spells. Magic. Your jaw. She'll wipe out everyone here, apparently. The 
game's gonna take a while. <laughs> so, um, how about those caps, huh? I think they're playing tonight. <laughs> Against the hockey hotbed Las Vegas. The expansion team. Well, they're not all dead. I'll just wipe this dude out. But, yeah, they're all dead. Okay. So I forgot to draw from those bats. I think all they have was scan and fire, I'll check. Yeah, the red bats. So I got some red bats. Frost to level up. So what does she get when she levels up? So I guess I did get those bat cards. I guess she's level two. Yeah, so she has an experience level right there. She's learning vitality junctions. So we're fine there. Magic. Okay, so yeah, Quistus has more magic. There we go. So we got plenty of that. They're basically potions. Back in the old Final Fantasy. Of course, we have items. We have regular items. God, okay, I'm out of here. I want the bats. Where are the red bats? Yeah, I can't interrupt them. Ow! Bastard. We're out. I just wanted to see where the red bats were, is all. I want to say, I, I can draw Thunder. I actually can draw Thunder from this guy. Thunder, Blizzard, and Fire from this guy. I want to say the Fire... I want to say the Red Bats are just, you know, Fire and Scan. I'll confirm that in a second. Darn it. Okay, we'll try one more time. So outside, what's going on? Yeah, there's a... I don't have to go back to town for anything. I mean, it's not like I need to buy any items, right? Okay, one last run. There we go. There's gotta be some red bats here, right? Too bad I killed those other red bats earlier. Nope, not a red bat. Okay, we're out of here. Okay, yeah. Split! Actually, let me see what that red bat card says or anything. So, I was hoping there might be a bestiary or something. Do I need to scan them first before I can see them in the bestiary? Uh, what's this for playing? It's for playing that dumb card game. What is this, like Gwent for Final Fantasy fans? Yeah, let me check. There's no bestiary here, I don't think. <laughs> right. I guess there's no, um... Yeah, it stinks. So there's no bestiary, that would've been nice. Ran out of space, I guess. Okay, I'm done with this. Let's, let's bail out of here. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll do that later, whatever. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about the red bats that much. So what I want to do is I want to go back around the overworld outside of the cave and outside of town and start making my way towards the next town. And along the way, I'll explain some of the items in the tutorial that I didn't get a chance to explain yet. Again, right now, early in the game, it's not a big deal. You got to see me face a couple of enemies early on. You got to see the, the magic that I can draw out of them. And as you'll see here in this video, I'm going to have 99 or 100 spells. 99 or 100 units of, a sp of each spell stocked up for both of my characters. So, that gives you some idea about all the spells that you can stock up very early at this point in the game. It might not even be that necessary, but I'm just trying to see what the game lets me do early on. And as I've warned you on several occasions, this is not a channel for movies, unless the movies are significant in some way or interesting to me. And this game's story isn't that great. I'll probably mention it in passing, but I'm not going to spend a bunch of time talking about it. Okay, so this is my three-hour saved game. A lot of downtime, though. I was doing other things, cleaning up around here in the meantime. So I was just leveling up, grinding, doing other things. So don't pay any attention to the time you see here. Okay, uh, let me get rid of that. Yeah, I want the globe. I'll be able to adjust that camera. I can't see. 
See this terrible 3D graphics. Okay, there's a city over there. We'll make our way in that direction. Let's see what other enemies are here in the grassland if we stick to the roads. Like I said, sometimes the encounter rate's pretty bad. Like, awful bad. Alright, uh, draw. Only one enemy here will be fine. Let's let's draw some scans and we'll draw some fire. Whoop, no more space for fire, right at 100. I'll show you what I mean. See that? Here's a Trichalo stock. He's got thunder, we need some more cure. Fire, scan, and blizzard. So he's full of everything. So can he... Yeah, he can't do scan either. Okay, uh, let's just attack this dude. Magic, what does quest this have? We'll check and see how much magic quest this has. A bug monster that flies. It's not a very strong enemy. Weak against ice and wind. Yeah, whatever. Waste of time. You can get a chance to see his HP. Full of fire and full of scan. Magic. So she needs thunder, cure, and nothing else. And this bugs in that way with this. Let's see if I can get that uh indicator turned on. See? There's your fire magic. So there's your super swing. So again, you press R1 at the perfect time and you end up if you press R1 just before you strike the enemy, you'll do that super damage on it. But again, the frame rate's so bad, it's kind of a it's kind of a timing based game rather than a <laughs> rather than a visual feedback twitch challenge. Uh, da, 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 check a few things. Yeah, status. T'Challa. Elemental attack, 50% ice. And there is junctioned guardians. The indicator is on, right? Gunblade auto is set to off. Damage one enemy. That's a whatever. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, it's not the word out of that nonsense. Uh, GFs. Uh, learning HP junction. He'll go up. Once he gets 63 more experience points. There's Frosta. He's up four levels already. I wonder if these HP... I wonder if these experience points are getting split between Quetzalcoatl and Pyron. Because they're T'Challa's two um, guardians. He's learning HP, Jay, so he'll be fine. Compatibility. He's compatible with T'Challa. She uh, Quetzalcoatl is more compatible with Questus, which makes sense because they both begin with Q, right? <laughs> Yeah, so Frosta prefers Quistus, as does Quetzalcoatl, and Pyron here prefers T'Challa, which is, I think is kind of interesting. I don't know if it matters that much. Might just determine how quickly it levels up. Again, in battle, I don't think it makes much of a difference at all. Magic. So we're almost full of everything. Press R1 or L1 to switch characters. We're pretty much, T'Challa's full of everything, so we're fine there. Ah, uh, card. I got a catter, caterchi, caterchi pillar. I don't know what those elemental numbers mean. Four, three. I don't know what those numbers mean next to the portrait. Don't worry about that later. It's probably just for a stupid card game that we're gonna play. Okay, so the memory is on, so we're fine there. Tutorial. Before we do this tutorial, let's get into a couple more fights. In fact, let's go into this uh, forest right here with this cute little rustling of the leaves effect. <laughs> it is kind of cute. As ugly as this game looks, effects like that are kind of cute. That's to say, what happened to the bit of a delay there, guys? Come on. It's a PS3. You should be able to play this disc. Alright. Draw. Thunder, nope. Cure, they can draw more cures on this wall. Draw. Yeah, so we'll draw a few more cures and kill this dude. We can always uh, recharge, we can always uh, get our health back in a second by drawing cures out of this guy. Done. Draw, nope, he's out. Get to tag him. Draw, cure, cast.
Okay, so we'll, we'll draw a few more things to kill him. If there's one more, other than the other than the T-Rex, we aren't going to be fighting. There's one more enemy you might want to see. Okay, so let's draw a cure out of him. And cast it on Questus. That's probably why you're using the visual feet. That's probably why you're using the the polygon visuals to determine the character, because the menu covers the character's name, which is annoying as crap, by the way. Cure, nope, thunder, stock, okay. So we're full of health now, so we'll be fine. I think I missed. Yeah, I think I missed on my super attack, but that's okay. So she'll draw, she'll draw thunder, and I'll just have T'Challa attack me with his strong attacks. Nope, missed again. We'll be fine. Pretty basic strategy. So no one in this game is that complicated yet. Except for the dragons you can't beat yet. So it's not complicated at all. Just run away from them. Because <laughs> you know you're not strong enough to beat them. I think I started this game at level 8. Yeah, T'Challa started this game at level 7. <laughs> and she was level... She was one level higher, so... Pff, the game doesn't make you mess around, I guess. Which I thought was kind of interesting. I wonder if that was true in the Japanese version as well. To start you out level seven instead of having to grind up seven levels for you going to the fire for you going to the fire cavern. That would have sucked. That was a concession. That was pretty interesting. Okay, we gotta run away from this dude. Let me do a let me run a scan on him. Whoop! Yeah, this guy's gonna be trouble. Magic scan. Draw. You don't want to draw anything from this dude either. Just get a peek and see how what his uh, HP is. C13, 13-9. We are not going to want to fight this guy. Weak against ice, but we're not going to waste our time. He's just too strong at this point. Rowdy. See? Don't mess with the T-Rex. No experience for that, because we don't want to die. This might be one more enemy we can fight. At least before we get to that city over there. City on the sea. Yeah, let's see, magic. We have plenty of cures, so we'll be fine. Yep. Cures not junction over here, so we'll just use this. So let me do a quick check on something. Junction, Quistus, Auto, Defense. Nothing changes there. Auto, Defense, nothing changes there. Ability, no. Uh, junction, magic, left. Yeah, we're fine. Switch characters, junction, magic, left on the D-pad, nothing. So I can't cure anything over here? So I can't attach anything? Maybe I need... Oh, that's right. I probably haven't learned it from um, Frosta. Because remember, Frosta has to learn the junctioning ability. Otherwise, I can't junction any of this crap. She had, she did learn the, sp the spirit junction, however. So I'll show you that in a second. So what does Quistus learn from Frosta? Learn... Spirit Junction, the commands, summon magic by 10%, so that's all she's learned how to do. So until she learns this, she won't be able to junction strength. Now let's go over a bit, let's switch to another, switch to Pyron, this is a T'Challa's guardian. He's learned uh, strength junction, elemental attack junction, uh, the commands, good enough. Switch to Quetzalcoatl, that's Chichala's other guardian. He's learning HP Junction. Learn already knows how to mag how to do magic junction. Has the commands down here, can do summon magic plus ten, okay. Fine lightning, okay. So that gives you some idea about what the setup is. Okay. That's good enough for that. So we'll face one more enemy here in the forest, then we'll go to that town nearby. Yep, let's go in the forest. Yeah, these guys again. That's right, okay, I already, already drew from the uh, flies and such, so we'll just run away, we don't need these guys. Ow. Hey, hey, hey! Running away. Alright. It's kind of cute, though. <laughs> this one of those. This one of the. This game is one of the reasons why Square spent so much money trying to remaster everything. This game just looks ugly as crap. 
I mean, ideally they would just use anime for everything, but maybe it's cheaper to just use, you know, CG. Or maybe it's like, maybe it's like R&D. You develop new engines you can use in other games if you remaster an existing game. Just use the engine from this to develop a new game. Which I guess makes sense. Okay, we're done. No more enemies to see here. We're out of here. I guess they struck first. He's biting my head. Actually, he's kind of rubbing, he's kind of massaging his teeth with my head, actually. He's got a lot of hits on us. Okay, so we're going to head back into town. But before we do that... Ah, uh, tutorial. Basics. See? Field screen. World map screen. Ve yeah, we have vehicles in this game. Battle screen. Escape, you've already established that. Battle operation. Transform showing the character HP and ATB gauges. Let's play on the battle screen. Characters can act once the gauge is full. Commands are displayed when the ATB is full. Use structure button to choose. X command. That's the basics. To use magic. That's obvious. The symbol, the junction symbol, indicates that the magic is junction. Whatever that means. We'll explain that again later. I'm chosen to select the item in its target. The number next to each item shows how many items the party has. GF summons a guardian. Junction to a character. Select a GF in its target. The number next to the GF shows its HP. They can take damage, obviously. Draw some magic from enemies. Not just dogs, like stock will stock the magic. Cast will cast the magic. So you can cast one spell on an enemy, or you can you can cast one spell either on yourself or on an enemy, or you can stock multiple charges into your stock. Running low on HP. Um, a triangle may appear next to attack. Press the right directional button, and, and the more powerful than usual attack is called a limit break. Press L1 to take your charge from the window. L2 to escape. Oh, I have to press L1 to choose a target from the window instead of from the visual display. That's interesting. The polygonal display on top of the screen. You, XP is gained even if you escape as long as you damage the enemy. That's cute. Now I know. Okay. Online help. These are the explanations of G junctioning a guardian and all that. That's already been explained. I'll explain it to the status screen. Basic data. Shows HP, strength, etc. Second screen shows all the stats and elemental related information. These are all the guardians. And this is the limit break information. I believe uh, Quistus already mentioned this early in the video, but whatever. Hey. Renzo Kukin hits automatically without having to press R1. However, a perfect may not be possible with this option. You must select off. And press R1 manually at the right time. The Renzo Kukin indicator is turned off. The indicator will not be displayed during the Renzo Kukin. I thought, well, I don't think it was ever displayed. But I was just getting the timing right, so whatever. Yeah, um, what's your name? Already explained this. Okay, I'm not gonna do the card game rules yet. I'm gonna worry about that. So let's get my mat, let's get my health up, and we'll save the game. I'll show you a bit of the story. Why not? Okay, I'll show you a bit of the story. That's a bail. We gotta save first. Now it is. <laughs> not to do anything all over again. So, three and a half hours. <laughs> so we'll finish up the video with some storytelling, and then bail. Call it a cliffhanger. God, this game is so ugly. <laughs> you, almost just, you almost just want to pay him like a million dollars just to clean it up, make it look halfway decent. Pre-rendered backgrounds and ugly AF polygonal models.
Where are we going exactly? That's the other question. It's another reason why I don't want to spend a bunch of time doing these videos where I'm just exploring, wandering around. From the lovely hotel. No. Bye. <laughs> We're not spending money on this place. Wait a minute. Which way are we going, by the way? I don't remember this place at all, by the way. No, oh, wait. Save point. It's not a save point. Ah! Thunder. Mm, don't draw. Thunder, 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 thunder points. What, ha what do I have to... Oh. Remodel the chain whip. I guess I can remodel the chain whip. I already have it. Not enough vibes to do a revolver, that's fine. Don't need this crap anyway. I might not need any of this crap. I was gonna stick with my basic, uh, I was gonna stick with my basic loadout for the rest of the game. How about that? It's not exactly gonna hurt me, is it? I don't remember any of this part of the game. <laughs> like, wow. I don't remember anything about this. So obviously I remember like the first city and the fire cavern and Zell and whatever her name is, the clumsy woman. Don't remember her name. Wait, what's that? Wait, check that. There's a flashing thing over there on the diving board. I got a cure. I got a cure. And yeah, we'll give it to Quistus. She can junction it. That's probably all she can hold, anyway. It's already been drawn, right? Yeah, nothing there, yeah. It's, it's expended, like a treasure chest. <laughs> oh, well. Two stinking cures, wow. Anything over here? Nope. But over here. Move it, doggy. Yeah, such scintillating storytelling. Why am I here? Uh, we're kind of in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you tell him, Quistus. Yeah, I think I'm done here. There was nothing going on in this city. That's very disappointing. Expected, kind of, but whatever. What else can I do while I'm here? I mean, why are we here even? I'm probably not even supposed to be here. Okay, well, never mind. Maybe there's a train or something or something because I can go visit? I don't know. Okay, uh, rotate. Yeah, can I go behind him? Yeah, can I go over here into this tr tunnel? That might be nice. Uh oh, going in the can't go in the tunnel. Oh, wait, I found a draw point. <laughs> Isuna, yeah! Woo! What's Isuna do again? One of these non elementals, I guess. Ah, uh, magic. Resort? Yeah, yeah. Garbage. Freaking Isuna. Well, that was a waste of time. So I guess I'm just supposed. To, I guess I'm just supposed to go back to the city, huh? That was a big fat mother-loving waste of time. Nothing to do in this place. Well, I never said it was a wide open world. Not until the game opens up later, I suppose. I don't even remember how I don't even remember how linear this game was. I'll have to double check. I think once you once you get the ship or whatever, I think some of the game opens up. Because you know you have the Zell's Love quest and all the other nonsense, so you, you can't do it to later in the game, but it's a completely optional quest. 
It's not like Skyrim where all the quests are optional, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, there's some places where if you have a ship, you know, you can wander around, draw from different enemies, see what's going on. But I want to say most of the game's pretty linear. Yep, that was a big fat more than 11 waste of time. Well, this game doesn't exactly move like a shot. We done? There's something you have to watch out for, huh? We're gonna kill, we're gonna run out of time by talking about these guys. So in one more tutorial. Yeah, that's, I thought that was obvious. Distributed more different abilities. Those are the AP. So it's like I found this out on my own, actually. Let's be honest, because <laughs> I barely, I barely remember the mechanics of this game. Frost is selected. Her stats are shown. So the experience level, compatibility with character, etc. The game doesn't explain what compatibility means, by the way. I select and learn. <laughs> You get the ability list. So we've already established this. Well, these in gray have not been learned yet. First number in gray shows the AP spent towards learning. The second number shows AP required to complete. 50 AP required and zero have been spent. For to learn the ability, Move the cursor elemental attack. You can foam. So from here on, all AP earned goes towards that. When you, learn, when you learn 160, you learn the whole thing. Sorry, talking to a jar of water. <laughs> Yep. So I'm learning what I want to learn right now. So it's a good thing the game explained this before I spent too much time on it. Assemble at the first floor lobby. And I have to waste more time exploring this stupid world. So how do I change out of my uniform? What's wrong with my black jacket? Styling. Charlie will take that, thank you very much. I don't know how I don't know what the maximum amount of draws I can get from those things. Maybe ten. I want to say nine. There's a sign here. Where's the sign? It's dumb pre-rendered background. It's immersive, I guess. I guess you can expect. It's like moving in and out of a. It's like moving in and out of a bunch of uh, CD-ROM menu screens. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not exactly you know brilliant. Some of this stuff is okay, it's just, you know. In the PS1 era, this is all we had to do. Because, I mean, you, you, again, you knew polygonal graphics didn't look great. But at least the uh, the backgrounds could look decent. You know, like Resident Evil and stuff like that. So I can save my game here. The quest this is no longer with me. Oops, I probably should, I probably should make sure I turned it off. I probably should have, uh... Let me make sure my her guardians are still with me. Just a second. Uh, switch? Yeah, there she is. Yeah, I can't bring her back yet. Okay, uh, just a second. Exchange is all that is junctioned. Ah, uh, this is gonna be a problem. So she's junctioned the. Okay, so I turn her off. Just a second. Darn it! I can't remove her! God! This is gonna be interesting. Let me see if I can, um... Do this the old fashioned. I was afraid this was gonna happen. Character dies, disappears, and I can't... Okay. Let's see what I got.
Oh, we switched! That's not what I wanted. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Ah. Uh, switch. Yeah. I wanted the GF. She grabbed it. Okay, hold on. This is gonna happen. I should have this stupid game. I took off all the chucks. I just died. <sighs> if I should have saved the game before I, uh... I should have removed everything. There she is. Removes all junctioned items. All of them. Okay, now I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> uh, old school uh, party management, huh? Hold on, gotta do it the old fact. I gotta junction first. No, I actually have to. I actually have to adjust it. Give me a second. GF. Ha! How at your boy? <laughs> okay, so I got them all now. <laughs> That's great. Defense. Yep. So I got the spirit junction now because I stole Frosta from Quistus. <laughs> so now it all makes sense. <laughs> now let that be a lesson to you, kids. Always uh, loot the bodies of your party members before they leave permanently. Though she probably won't leave permanently, but anyway. It's going to be an hour, 20 minute video if all this, this all works out. So what are these ladies talking about? Moaning. See, I learned the hard way how to get my... <laughs> I don't have to learn the hard way. She said go to the first floor lobby. This is the first floor lobby. So how do I change? Dorms. Yeah, if I go to the dorms, probably. <laughs> See that stupid CD-ROM-looking menu. Am I going up? I think I'm going up. Just a second. <laughs> so I have to change my clothes. Is that the way this works? Uniform, get changed. I guess black is out. Okay, blue, whatever. Yeah, we don't need to rest. We're full magic, right? Our HP is full, right? Yeah, it's good enough. By the way, I couldn't change Quistus's name for some reason. Weird. I can't sleep in my roommate's bed, but that's okay. <laughs> See, look how ugly these models are. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, remember, I grew up in this era, dude. This, I know these games look ugly as crap. This is like... A, well, it's not as bad as the Atari. <laughs> but, you know. It's not exactly, you know, 16-bit level. Like, really bad sprite scaling. Like, it's, it's like sprites that never zoom in properly. <laughs> Just awful. Trying to figure out which games did a better job of that as far as like the sprite scaling and the, and the character design and all that. Let's see, you'll be with Zell. Zell dinked. I thought I could name his name. I thought I could rename him. I guess I can't. Dinked. Dinked? <laughs> Lively, he's just loud. So if I can rename him, what can I call him? Eh, I call him Naruto, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> and really crappy SD uh, <laughs> 20 FPS full motion video. Whoa, I'm with you. Also be changing the status screen. Dual auto. Huh. Totally forgot about that. The break dual will execute automatically. Selected randomly. Bah. Booyah! <laughs> Booyah. He actually... <laughs> yes, he's a member of the Booyah tribe. Yeah, we weren't fighting, we we're training. <laughs> Bet you he doesn't think so. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, she... She finishes the sentences. Which I, which I guess means he's either predictable or she knows him too well. And their relationship is too... <laughs> close. <sighs> See, for you here... Wasn't he in some other game I forgot? <laughs> anyway. See for your dumb long long gray cloak. <laughs> Get out of here with that. So again, yeah, this, I mean, this is how terrible the this is how terrible the model look. The models look. It's like you can't even see you can't see anyone's facial expressions. It's all gestures. I mean, obviously, Metal Gear Solid is the same problem. I mean, the characters are so poorly the characters are so poorly composed that you couldn't even see the facial expressions. It was kind of terrible. You had to use the hand-drawn artwork during the conversations, during the codex sequences, just to see how people reacted. Even then, they didn't really have facial expressions. They only had one or two expressions and a couple of, uh, you know, mouth movements. That's it. That was all they could fit in there, obviously, back then, I guess. Yeah, see? You get a close-up on these models. <laughs> and, of course, you can't have a Final Fantasy game without Sid. Even though he's of very little consequence in this game, as I recall. Wasn't Sid... No, that's right. No, you can't actually control Sid in Final Fantasy IV. I forget. I think it was just a guy who repaired airships back then. In fact, I don't, I don't, even, I don't even think he was in the first Final Fantasy. I just added him after the fact. In fact, I don't even think he's in all of them. So even that's kind of a pointless... In fact, I don't even think this character is technically called Sid in the Japanese version. He's just kind of a concession that the Ameri the North American localizers kept adding to these Final Fantasy games, I guess. Like, was Sid in the uh, Spirits Within movie? I don't even remember anymore. Well, I got the DVD around here somewhere. I probably need to watch it sometime. Lord knows that CD will, that DVD will never be out of print. <laughs> Sony keeps dumping it for five dollars in the. You can go to a five below, and they got Final Fantasy: The Spirits Within there. <laughs> Can't get away from it. Yeah, gun blades, whatever. I mean, what sense does a gun blade even make, really? <laughs> I mean, it's a blade that fires bullets. It doesn't even fire bullets. It just, like, creates a shockwave explosion of some kind, I guess. It, it's weird. <laughs> it's like you press the button at a certain time, the enemy explodes. I mean, like, okay, whatever. As ridiculous Spec 5 weapons go, it's not the most, it's not the most worthless I've heard of, but... <laughs> It's just kind of dumb. Show me your gun blade in this tiny confined space. Come on, man. I'm gonna call you Hudson. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, yeah. Scrooge. I'm gonna start calling you Harley Quinn. <laughs> so how grating this dude is. Will you sit down in the moving vehicle? No one's wearing a seatbelt either. Chicken wuss. I'm glad someone's in charge. <laughs> Body bag. Uh, what's, what's the name of that kid in the Cobra Kai anyway? The body bag kid. Because <laughs> obviously we all know Johnny, but I don't know anyone else. Yeah. 
Yeah, not exactly scintillating exchange between the characters. Chicken wuss. Might as well call him a spoony bard. Let's change the POV, shall we? I can't change the POV. Can I save at least? can't save. At least I won't get attacked. Okay, we're not gonna get off here, so I'm gonna press the square button and move along. So where are we going? Through the tunnel? Yeah, we'll go through the tunnel. Whoops! Uh, back up. Darn it. Ah. Can I turn around? Yeah, with the triangle button. I barely remember this stuff. This is this is exactly the best part of Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> Although it lets you avoid combat, so I guess that's okay.